mate. Welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest. I've got Barney and Jace Metcalf with me on the boat. We're getting a few live baits. It's Queensland reef fishing at its best. Some live baits. We've got some squid heads there as well. And I, I've got to tell you, I think we might get stretched by a few demersal species. That's the plan anyway. Oh, look at them going up here. I don't know, buddy. In you go. Oh, you got to love this part of the world. It's just a amazing variety of different species you can catch and uh, it's dropping a live bait down pretty simple rig got the 60 pound fluorocarbon leader some 50 pound braid and then a ball sinker onto a live bait so just free spooling it down letting it waft down we've got some amazing showing on the sounder and young jason has decided to join me up the front here he's going to feed one down as well but uh chance of anything here i guess cobia amberjacks trevally Mackerel. Mackerel. <laughs> you name it. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Oh. Good one? Yeah, it's not a bad fish, mate. Not a bad fish at all, he That's guessing. There go. Oh, it's taking some line. Yep. Oh. Trying to get back to the bottom, this one. Oh. So, we had a bit of a look at it, and which is typical of a cobia. We've seen that it's a cobia. It comes and has a look at the boat, looks up. Sees Gassy and says, I'm not going on TV. I'm not the TV kind of fish, but here we go. Hey, I take offence to that, Tommy. <laughs> oh, can you see it down there, Barn? Yeah, mate, I can. Absolutely amazing fish. If we get a chance at the net, I think we should take it yeah. right there. <laughs> oh, awesome. Look at that. Mate. <laughs> Hey, you called it, Barney. You called it early, mate. You said it was Kobe. I don't want to. You don't want to kiss it. I don't it. kiss fish on this show. No kissing. No like kissing Kobe. fish. Okay. Just got to be really careful when you're handling Kobe. They've got those series of spines there. One, two, about eight or are you, so. Are you, Sorry. Are you fishing? <laughs> That's <laughs> very rude. People at home <laughs> are listening. And, we're talking about Kobe, and oh, of course, no, no, you're all hooked up. Anyway. You're stealing my thunder, Barn. <laughs> yes, mate. Yes. <laughs> well, let Barney do that. He's got the got the old glass tip rod bending pretty hard there. It's a beautiful fish. They travel the ocean, can grow a magnificent size up around that 49, 50, 60 kilos even. So he's only a little puppy, this one. We'll get him back in and we'll see what the big fella's hooked up to. Oh, it's a nice code, that one, Chase. Let him go, bud. Hey, bud. Yeah. Nice code. Let's see what the big fella's got. Well, we've got some colour in here, eh? <laughs> oh, the right colour too. That's right. Oh, oh. It's, a, it's a little red emperor. A little red emperor. Oh, Just a real little that? fella. Oh, oh how pretty what a pretty, fish. pretty fish. Pretty fish. That's certainly not not legal in uh, in this part of the world. Not legal in any part of the world, hopefully, for a red emperor that size, but a more magnificent reef fish. And I've got to tell you, he's very unlucky. Well, so he's very lucky. We're unlucky. If he was a bit bigger, he, he, I hate to say it, he wouldn't be going, going back. He wants oh, to and I've back caught him. Catch. Mate, I'm definitely getting a job with the Australian cricket team <laughs> after that one. Look at that. That is a magnificent fish. A little bit of sun there. We'll let him go, eh? This type of offshore reef fishing is all about electronics at the end of the day. We're 60 kilometres out to sea. Got a nice little patch of reef that we're fishing here. Got uh, the big 112 pound electric motor at the front, so we're actually just spot locked on the reef. Didn't have to anchor or anything. We just hit that spot lock button and we can just sit here. And if the fish move, we can move with them so easily, which is just fantastic. And we've got the sounder and there with our GPS mark. Um, as we've had a bit of a drive around, we've just marked a couple of other little spots where there's some fish holding. And quite often you can find a patch of reef and the fish are all holding at one end. And Barney just had a pretty good bite over here and he's hooked up. But it's a matter of getting on where the fish are. And as you can see, there, I'm pretty sure that's a good sign that we're on the right spot. We're in 126 feet of water, plenty of fish showing. And also have a look at your sounder and see what depth they're at. There's no point dropping in the bottom if the fish are mid-water. That was on the livey barn. Yeah, mate. Hey, right, gorgeous. Oh, nice, mate. Whoa! Oh. I wanted to whip. Got some weight, and don't they go hard that first bit, eh? Yeah, gold spot cod, eh? Mm, nice. A little bit spiky, these fellas, mate. Yeah, they are a bit, aren't they? Look at the teeth showing around at home. 
Barney, look at those teeth. I'm not going to put my there finger in there. There is no in. lip gripping. <laughs> no, put them in there. No, no, no. I'll we'll grab the pliers. Pretty and fish. Imagine, man, they, they get a lot bigger than that yeah. too. So that's a gold spot cod, yeah? Yeah. So, yes. So they're the ones you catch in the estuaries a lot on your lures, when you? Lure fishing yeah, for jacks yeah, and stuff yeah. here in Queensland. Here we go. Nice. Pop that out. It's another one of the many demersals that are swimming around. Of course, we'd love to see maybe a coral trout or red emperor, but uh, uh, I've got to tell you, I'm happy to catch a... I want to get a cobia or something myself. It'd be pretty cool. All right, buddy, we'll let him go, eh? Oh, and gone. <laughs> and gone. <laughs> Thanks, Jase. It's a nice-looking bait there. That's a yellowtail we jigged in the fog this morning, and that was crazy, that fog. So I'm just going to grab that 9A circle hook and, and, and uh, just pin it up through his nose like that. Really simple rig, 60-pound fluorocarbon leader onto that ball sinker and just let him swim down like that. So I'll just do a bit of a pirouette there. And uh, the sound of the picture just looks amazing. And we'll drop that live bait down. And it's really important when you're dropping that bait down, I'm using my thumb on that, on that overhead reel. Because if something grabs it on the way down, it is just gonna take off and you'll end up with what we call a bird's nest, which is all of this braid just spinning, spinning around. You have gotta remember, you know, it's very, very strong and very thin in diameter, that braid. And if it wraps around your thumb, it could, I hate to say it, it could cut it right down to the bone. So, so just, just use your thumb as a bit of a break. Keep an eye on what's going on. And, uh, and just wait, because quite often you'll get a bite on the way down. You can a couple of little taps there. I think it's just the fish swimming around. Another big thing with, uh, with uh, braid fire line, whatever you want to call it, is it telegraphs everything back to you. So as that fish is swimming around, if you get a bit of a bump, you'll feel it. So just a matter of... I think it's slowly poked down there. And uh, the way the sound of picture looks at the moment, I don't think it'll take too long to get a bite. Oh, just got eaten on the way down, getting a run. Oh, yes. Load up. <clears throat> How's that one, mate? Oh, something's eating it on the way down. It's cool when you get that run and you use your thumb as the, as the brake. And it is. Oh, slightly better That's a version. Bit better version. He's about ready to let you know he's going to take net. off. Grab the net. Let's net him right now while well, he's got his head. Here, Barn, round the back. Well, I've got his head. Yeah. Well, I have his head. Holy crap. Oh. There's some real action right there, boys. There's some real action. <laughs> and he's gone. Sorry, mate, you did you say get the, net, said, get the net, get the net, get the net. I said, Kobe are, are just pretty stubborn things. And if we get a net shot, and uh, Barney and Jace were having a latte in the corner, we were having a chewing the fat and talking about, I don't know, it's the cricket or something. Yeah, well, you oh. know. <laughs> so now I'm halfway back. You, can, you may as well go back I'm to your on. latte. See ya, <laughs> off you go. I'll let you know when I get it back up. No worries, mate. Back, I'll be there in a yeah, sec, Barney. Just, uh, Make sure if you're interested in coming and working on the TV show, give us a call because the blokes I've got at the moment are a little, just a little bit jaded, I think. <laughs> Can I have the net now, please, Jason? <laughs> Here it is, mate. Because this is here's a... one I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cobia I prepared earlier that was splashing around, and we might get a shot this time into the net. Go, oh, you got it. Got him. Holy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that better? Well. Yeah, that's, I'm probably done with exercise. You can get him in there. <laughs> He's slightly better Kobe that one. He's, um, mate, we can actually... I think I've, I've trumped you guys so far. So I think we should put it on the measure mat. If not, I not that there's any competition we'll in this boat. We'll lay it on the measure mat and have a look. There's always competition. Hey, come on, you've got to get... That's the zero on that end, mate. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So right on the metre? Right on the metre mark right on, on that tail. Well, he might be about a metre. That's a nice fish right there. There's a beautiful Queensland cobia or black kingfish right there. You're watching Real Action. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more coming up. All right, bud. Back you go. What do you got there, buddy? I'm not sure yet, but it's a fair size, I think, mate. <laughs> We got him out up off the bottom early. That's the that's the trick here, isn't it? So first five to ten foot, isn't it? Go yeah. like train. I think you got his got his measure now. Got his measure now. The colour. 
Oh. Can't first swim out of the back. I guess you can't feel anything there, can you? Yeah, I can see a cobia. There he is. That looks like a cobia, mate. And go ballistic when they get <laughs> He's looking up at you, Dwan. He's on the air. As much as I'd like to be part of real action, I was hoping guessing you'd catch me. <laughs> there, oh, I tell you what, he's giving you something. Yeah, All right, we'll get him in, eh? Yeah, mate. Come on over, guesty. Have yeah. a look at this. Nice, nice, nice little cove, eh? Magnificent. Have that sinker. <laughs> nice. nice, mate. That is a nice little black kingfish, or a cobia is what they call them. Well done, Barn. He's actually swallowed that circle hook. Generally, that circle hook locks into the corner of the jaw, but he's got it down just a little bit deep. So grab the cut him off, scissors, eh? mate, cut him straight off, and we'll spear him back in. He can go and play. We'll see him when he makes it down the mid-north coast of New South Wales, and he's a bit bigger. And they travel the oceans, these blokes, no doubt. Off you go, champ. Oof. And off. Come on, son. Oh. <laughs> That was a good bite. It is a good bite, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going, champ. You're pulling hard, eh? I wonder what it is. Give me some. Oh, and this is where the, the polarised sunnies come into play, looking down into that blue water, just waiting to see what, uh, what the puffing Barney's got. <laughs> puffing Billy, puffing Barney. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm looking down. What are we going to call it for? I'm actually thinking it was a big cod. But... Oh, Jace has gone the big cod. I'm going early. the big cod. Okay. Oh my lord! That is right. Take, the your, take big your time. Cove. That is a big cove, mate. What a cool oh. looking fish! Look at that! Wow! Yeah. Now you can see why they people think they're sharks at times when they get to that size. Oh. I think you're about to do a bit more uh, dancing through the boat. I'm coming to dance now! Wow! Yeah. I'll go and get the net, barn. Gonna get that net. Yes, yes. Woo! Right, grab that. Grab the net. Grab that tile. I can grab him. Go. Then go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the size yes. of that. Mate, I'm just gonna have a bit of a rest here. Yeah. Oh, I bet you, you, got, you, are. you got the gentleman's seat there, yeah, mate. mate. Have a look at that. Yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful big fish, Barney. Oh, well man. done. Awesome. We were talking about cobia, cobia, I should say earlier, and how big they grow. Well, this is a, a whole other level again. This fish. Fantastic fighting machine, no doubt. And we can just slide him out of that net. <laughs> Look at that head. There we go. Get <laughs> underneath like, it. Let's pick like it up. Nasty. You're him up there. You going? Head like me? That's not very nice, Brian. What about in there? Yeah, it's up to you. You can get your finger cobia rasped if you want. Let's go. Let's lift him straight up. Oh, Check wow. that out. Yes. See that there, Jace. That's a beautiful big cobia right there. He's got to be every bit of, oh, I don't know, 20-odd kilos, I reckon. Oh, easy, easy. 25 20. kilos. <laughs> but Probably. it pulls like a 50-kilo fish. How wide they are. Just point the head around that way, Barney. See how wide that fish is. It's such a big front rower of the ocean, the cobia. Very, very strong fish. And Barney's done a great job. It had him down in the bottom there at one point, and he's managed to hang on to it. But that is an absolute ripper right there, no doubt. Different baits work for cobia. Live baits. Certainly one that works extremely well. The big dead baits work really well for them also. And they grow, they travel in big schools. I know one of your mates said he saw a school out here the other week. 60 or 70 big girls like this one, or big boys. So what a beauty. Well done, buddy. Awesome, mate. Awesome. Pumped. <laughs> well done. Yeah, baby. Talking about how uh, spider wire like this, how it telegraphs what's going on. You're just a little live yakka way down the bottom with that ball sinker and every little kick of the tail as it gets telegraphed back here to my fingers and I can feel exactly what's going on. That's the big difference between braid and nylon. You get to feel all of that. It's uh, pretty cool and certainly in deeper water it's so thin in its diameter compared to nylon so it allows you to, to fish lighter and still get nice and deep and then it's a, it's a very direct fight when you, when you get a big hard pulling fish on. It's getting a bit nervous this live bait here right at the moment. Have a look at that. Geez, they take some line. He's, uh, I'm going to have to give him a little bit more because I think he's heading back. Uh, 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 
still torn you or what? Just messing with me. You know, these, uh, these, I think it's a cove. It'd be nice if it's another cove. Well, here yeah, there's a few of them around here. Well, what have we got? Oh. Mate, it's the right colour. It is the right colour. Yeah, it yeah. is a cove, all right. It's not a bad looking cove. Good cove, mate. You go grab that net, eh? Yeah. Oh, that might even be bigger than Gessie's. I've got to tell you, it's pretty exciting chasing these big cove here. Jason just landed and released a really nice fish. Oh, that's a good one, I reckon, boys. Mate, that is a cracker. Now, I know we've caught some up around. I think that one you had then was about a metre ten. I've got to tell you, I think I might be hooked up to one right now. Sneaking suspicion you are here. Hooked up to one of these guys. <laughs> Oh, look at that, boy. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy dilly. He's not done yet either. That is one big cobia right there. Wow. An amazing day out here today. Look at the weather. And it's always a good sign when it's foggy in the morning that the weather's going to be really, really nice eventually. But I've got to tell you, take a few precautions in the fog. We had our nav lights on this morning. I've never been off Busted Head before. We created a trail on the way out, had that motor in shallow water drive to make sure that we were, uh, we were safe. With, um, with the depth of water. I know we're in the big 679 centre console. We've got the 225 on the back. We've got all of our safety precautions, e perbs life jackets. But I've got to tell you, there is no land in sight. 60 kilometres to sea. Make sure you tick all the boxes. We're full of fuel and we're ready to rock and we're ready to chase some big cobia like this one right here. Oh, it's a good cobia, lads. Hey, look at the size of that, Gessie. Look at the size of him. He is a beauty. Just doing a slow lap of the boat, mate. Bit of a lap of honour. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, that's good. That's gold. That's gold. You ready, Mark? That is a monster. Yeah, just take it easy. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, mate, let's get him in there. That is a cracking big cobia right there. It's a ripper. He's going to get his head in the net there, mate. Get that tail. I've got the tail. Open the tail. I got Grab that rod. rod. Got the rod. Got your rod, mate. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the size of that. Oh. 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 <laughs> Awesome. High five! Yes. <laughs> All round. Oh, That's that is massive. a beauty. Oh. <laughs> Look, at Look, at that, Look at the size of that. Woo! Awesome, eh? <laughs> now that is some real action oh. right there. Look at that. He's giving you some. That's got to be. Hey, that's easy. 25 kilos of cobia right there. It's a 50 pounder in the old scale. What an absolute beauty. We said about it before. We've caught a couple of small ones and then. Uh, Get into a big one like this is just amazing. It's got to be 25 kilos every day oh, of the week. I pull like a chain. <laughs> well, well, you're, you're the concreter. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to hand it over to you, mate, and tell us how big it is. Just open the mouth, show everyone at home what they look like down the gob there, Barney. Big black kingfish. Amazing fish. And I'm going to tell you. He's pretty strong. And they get that in the current, mate, eh? <laughs> <laughs> A big powerful tail and they're just a nugget they're so solidly built more solidly built than a than their their cousin well they're not actually related i don't think the yellowtail kingfish but wow that is one heavy cobia.